Scott. How's it going, everybody? Uh, my name is Jody Romero. I'm, uh, I'm here actually uh, representing uh, the new Red Element. Uh, for those of you who don't already know, we were acquired by uh, Red last night, so we're now uh, part of their big Red family. And, uh, and to be honest, we couldn't be prouder and we couldn't be happier. Uh, this gives us a lot of opportunities for future development, future products, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty darn excited. Um, one of the things that, that we're showing here, among with everything else that we have here on the table, is uh, we happen to have a Meisler here. And uh, everybody that comes in with, uh, with an Epic, what's one of the first things they want to see, and this gives people an opportunity to actually uh, touch and hold the camera. A lot of what you see that's on the camera here is, is the accessories that we're working on. With, uh, with Red. Uh, most of you guys will probably already know uh, most of the accessories that we already have, uh, everything from the dovetail, our new short bridge plate, our uh, side panel, top plate, and of course our manhandle. The manhandle itself is something that is fairly new to us. One of the big things that's, uh, that's really popular with it and why it's gained so much traction is we have two 15 millimeter spuds with uh, different attachment points. We have a 15 mil tube clamp that allows you to add the, the red bomb adapter with our new mini clutch. But the biggest thing that we have going on for the show now is the introduction of our lens drives and with our three axis lens control system. With, with the Meisler, uh, lucky for everybody who's getting the Meisler, is it actually already has a three axis uh, lens control system actually built inside of the box. So all that needs to happen is you just plug right into the, the front of the camera itself and you have your three ports necessary to, to run Focus Iris and Zoom. With our lens control system itself, the, where we had to start was with the lens drives. The lens drives themselves, uh, one of the first things that we wanted to take care of is, is figure out what are those things that really bugged us about lens drives that are out there. So there's two key components that we started looking for when we wanted to solve. Uh, number one was is never knowing where these uh, cable connectors are going to end up. Sometimes we want them out the back, sometimes we want them the side, sometimes we have to inside mount them. It all depends on the lens, it all depends if you go in studio, it all depends if you go in lightweight 15. But one of the things that we started doing is we, we added this little latching mechanism that allows you to rotate the lens connector and getting it into the orientation that you want that better suits your particular configuration. The second thing that we knew that was a complete pain in the neck was you have a lens that dies or you want to change out a lens or you want to change the configuration around. Well, now that means you have to start offloading the map box, you have to start pulling off the follow focus, or I'm sorry, not the follow focus because you're running three axes, but you have to start pulling everything apart to, just to get to the lens motor. So one of the things that we started doing now is we said, oh, how about if we were to do something where we just make it a quick release? And that's what we did. So we have a, match, a, a latching mechanism that allows it to just be a quick release right directly onto the rods. Now there's, uh, that makes lens changes that much easier, that makes uh, drive changes that much easier, and that makes uh, every AC's life and operator's life much easier. The, each one of these that you see right here happen to be the prototypes that we initially designed. Uh, what Red did is they took uh, what we did and decided, you know what, we're going to go ahead and do some uh, Red industrial design and we're going to make those look like they belong on the camera. So for those of you who happen to be over at the Red booth or want to take a look at those, you can actually see what the, what the final production version of the lens drives themselves are going to look like. As part of the system itself, you now have the three axis with the, our lens drives. You have our three axis uh, lens control, which is actually part of the Miser, but you also have our three axis hand controller itself. This hand controller, most people are probably already familiar with, especially those who have, have been in our uh, stereoscopic world shooting with 3D. It's actually the same, the same exact hand controller used for 3D, and it's also the same one used for our six axis lens control. Now up to this point, we didn't, we had a drive and a goal to do three axis, but what we really had was, uh, was NAB and the demand for us to finally start getting into doing three axis. So that's where this came in. So use, utilizing the same exact hand controller, we can now do everything that you need for three axis. The goal that we have 
is with the hand controller, three axis, and the uh, three axis box, or the three lens drives and the three axis box that these guys here are going to show you in a bit. The whole goal with that is to get price-wise to just around $12,000.